Well, we are all feeling the extreme here, heat here in SoCal, and it's going to be even hotter this weekend, which is hard to believe. And, of course, temperatures like this can be incredibly dangerous. Oh, downright awful. Yeah. But joining us now, Dr. Kimberly Petrick. She's a family medicine physician with Kaiser Permanente Santa Monica. She's here to explain how everyone can prevent heat-related illness this Labor Day weekend. And, Dr. Petrick, such a pleasure to have you back on the show. Good morning. Good morning, Chris, Marcy, Los Angeles. Thank you guys for having me back. Yeah, thanks for being with us. So, you know, we, we all know that it's really important to stay hydrated in this extreme heat, but just give us a little bit of an explanation of why that is. I feel like when you understand why it helps kind of set it in and right. you take it a little bit more seriously when, when, you, when you get the details. Yeah, I feel like we were just having this similar conversation when we were heading into the unofficial start of summer. And as we're kind of moving into fall, we wish, but unfortunately, the fall has no intention of having these summer heats fall, right? So the reason we need to stay hydrated is because heat exhaustion, as people also know, is heat stress, can come on really suddenly and quickly if we're not listening to our bodies. And it can quickly turn into heat stroke, which is the much more medically concerning condition. Yeah, you know, let's talk a little bit about the signs of heat stress. When should people seek medical attention? You know, a lot of people going out to exercise or cutting their exercise short. Um, but when do you take that trip to the emergency room? Um, what are the signs for that? Yeah, so it's a great question. And it's something that I think that everybody should be aware of if they're not yet. So again, pay attention to your body, please. If you're feeling overly thirsty, if you're having headaches, lightheadedness, dizziness, if you have an upset tummy like nausea, heavy sweating, some people may not even get that heavy sweating and they may have cool, calm, um, clammy skin, excuse me. Those are all early signs of heat stress. Or if you see somebody who is unconscious or confused and they're having a high heart rate or high temperatures in their body and they're not sweating, those are more severe signs of heat stroke. So make sure you again, hydrate, 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 cool off, get out of the sun, drink more water. And if it gets to that point where you notice that anybody that you're with has those symptoms, please have them seek medical attention, help them, help yourself, just stay safe this weekend, please. Yes, a good reminder. And you're saying drink water. That does not mean drink yeah. beer right. or a margarita, but we know that. And some if you people, do, drink extra water. Yeah, exactly. But and, and people will, of course, be drinking at Labor Day parties. So what should people know if that's a part of how they'll be spending the weekend? So a lot of us might think that drinking alcohol means that we're hydrating, but unfortunately, it's actually a diuretic, meaning it actually pulls liquid out. So it's imperative that if you are drinking alcohol, a, drink with moderation, please. Don't try to keep up with other people. But if you are drinking, please make sure that you are hydrating and drinking plenty of water. The most concerning thing is with this heat, we like to go swimming, we like to go to pool parties, right? But with this heat, if we are swimming and we're drinking, it can impair our judgment, it can create cramps, disorientation, and unfortunately, it creates an exponential risk for drowning as well. So please just drink responsibly, make sure you are hydrating, and just pace yourself. Do not try to keep up with others, and make sure you are staying exceptionally hydrated and drinking safe. All right, Doctor, and really quick, many people will be outdoors this Labor Day weekend. So mm -hmm. quick reminders about exercise, clothing, and sunscreen. Great point. Thank you so much. So if you're outside exercising, try to stay out of the sun during the peak hours, which is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon until 3 p.m. If you're going hiking, for example, and if you're outside, make sure you're bringing the, the important things like a backpack, snacks, something that you can carry a cell phone in case there is any signs of an emergency, water for extra hydration, and make sure you are hydrating frequently. Also, consider wearing a hat or a bandana, something that can be dunked in water so that if you are getting overly hot, you can actually cool yourself off by your head or by your neck by dink, dr excuse me, dunking that bandana into some cool water to cool yourself off. And most important, sunscreen, SPF 30 or more. 
if you're around water, make sure that you are putting it on more often. But even if it's water resistant, you still want to put it on liberally, right? And no less than every two hours to reapply to make sure that you are avoiding those sunburns. But again, take breaks from the sun. Make sure you're getting shady moments. Get in cool places. I know we're in a flex alert as well, but don't want to be in heat for excess periods as well. So just take breaks, moderate that sun exposure, take right. that cool place, hydrate. I, I love that. So many good tips, yeah. uh, but good also reminders. have fun too um, and, and enjoy, yeah. but, but, but do it safe. Have a so, great don't. time, but be safe, please. And I hope that on this Labor Day weekend, you guys get some time without laboring yourselves as right. well. Thank